Hey guys, it's Xenia from The Designers, and I'm here to show you how to create your best seamless watercolor texture in Photoshop. So, let's say we have a nice can of watercolor texture painted, and we want to turn it into a seamless pattern. First, open it in Photoshop. Well, here it is, but we'll actually work with a different document. Press Command N to do so. Yes, you should set the following parameters. Super! Now, you should give some victorious name to your artboard. Pattern will do, I guess. Okay. Drag and drop your texture to it. Perfect. Center the image and decrease the size with the free transform tool to make it sharper and prettier, I don't know. Much better now. Select the whole area with Market tool. Now, with the layer via Cut option, we make a layer 1200 by 1200 pixels to work with. Delete other layers, because you won't need them anymore. Now, choose Filter, Other, Offset. Move slides to get four equal squares in the end. It sounds easy, right? And now we should get rid of the annoying scenes. Maybe they are not that annoying, but anyway. Use the rectangular marker tool with the feather parameter. I don't know. Okay, three pixels will do, I guess. Select the area around the scene with it and press Shift Backspace to enter a quantity wear menu. As you see, the scene has gone less visible, and so you should keep on removing them until you get an image to love. Also, you may see some white specks, and I recommend you to get rid of them too. Just do the same steps as you've already done for the seams. By the way, do you know why we've picked precise 3 pixels for the market tool? It's gonna help us avoid creating new seams after using the content aware tool, or at least have them not that visible. and try to pick different areas all the time for a better result. Now, when there are no more visible seams, choose again Filter, Other, Offset to search for the seams you must have missed. Don't panic, no one's perfect, even Elon Musk. Okay, he is. Never mind. Okay, I haven't detected any seams and the work looks pretty perfect, so let's give it a try. First, we have to save it as a pattern. Let's create a new document, 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels, fill it with some shape, and apply your pattern. Here it is. As you've noticed, it covers the whole area, and no seams stick the eye. But do you see these tiny white spots? Well, we'd better remove them if we want a really nice image in the end. Okay, let's create a pattern again. Same steps, nothing new as you see. Just try to keep an eye on the minor details if you don't want to have your third, fourth or fifth attack. Yay! Looks much better. Now we should just save the pattern. You don't need the first pattern, remember that? So just delete it. And be careful and don't delete the one we've just created. Save it instead. Don't forget about a winning name and try to be creative unlike me, okay? So, here's your pattern, use it, love it, show to everyone, and don't forget to subscribe to the designer's YouTube channel, so many videos to come, see ya!